in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister we the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore greet you in the name of risen jesus and now welcome you to carmel light reflection on the day's gospel we are still in the easter octave and it's the friday the holy gospel according to john chapter 21 verses 1 to 14 jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the sea of tiberius he revealed himself in this way Together was Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, "I am going fishing." They said to him, "We also will come with you." So they went out and got into the boat but that night they caught nothing when it was already dawn Jesus was standing on the shore but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus Jesus said to them children have you caught anything to eat they answered him no So he said to them Cast the net over the right side of the boat and you will find something So they cast it and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter It is the Lord When Simon Peter heard that it was the lord he tucked in his garment for he was lightly clad and jumped into the sea the other disciples came in the boat for they were not far from shore only about a hundred yards dragging the net with the fish when they climbed out on the shore they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread Jesus said to them bring some of the fish you just caught so Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish even though there were so many the net was not torn Jesus said to them come have breakfast and none of the disciples dared to ask him who are you because they realized it was the lord jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them and in like manner the fish this was now the third time jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead The gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ My dear friends today we have a resurrection story which is unique to John the evangelist It bears close resemblance to a similar story about a catch of fish in Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 11 and another in Matthew where Peter gets out of the boat to go to Jesus Matthew chapter 14 verses 28 to 31 like most of John's accounts it is a story full of symbolism So if you read John's gospel you find a lot of symbolic language so also here in this incident 
Peter, the leader, decides to make a move. I am going fishing. It is what he knows best. He is a fisherman. The others go along with him. My dear friend, is there an implication that the great enterprise that Jesus began is over and they return to their old way of living? After a whole night on the lake, they get nothing. They get nothing. It is said that night time was favored for fishing. Night time was favored for fishing. My dear friend, is there also an echo of words spoken at the Last Supper? Without me, you can do nothing. Without me, you can do nothing. As the light of dawn breaks, Jesus is standing on the shore. But as usually happens in these post-resurrection scenes, they do not recognize him. He asks the question, fishermen do not like to be asked. Have you caught anything? Reluctantly, they have to admit, no. No. After following Jesus' instructions, they make a huge howl of fish. So many that they cannot be brought into the boat. The main point, however, is to emphasize God's generosity. Recalling the amount of water changed into wine at Cana, the amount left over after feeding the crowds in the desert, the abundance of life that the Good Shepherd gives, and the fullness of the Spirit, life-giving water that guarantees we are never thirsty. My dear friends, this is all clearly a parable, a symbol of their future work as fishers of people. A symbol of their future work as fishers of people. A work whose success will originate in the power of Jesus behind them and in their following what he tells them to do. Let us pray. My dear friends, today in the English diary that we published in aid of the education of the poor children, especially the children of the blind parents, you find Dia Elisha Bangera from Delhi and in the Konkani diary, Juliana Maskarenis and Blessy Angela De Souza from Ullal Mangalore celebrating their birthday we greet them happy birthday and we pray for these birthday babies also my dear friends we have a sad news of the sudden death of Swedel de Souza, 15 years age who went to write her exams SSLC 10th exams came back reported stomachache she was admitted and the same night she passed away. May the Lord grant her eternal rest and also we pray for the, her family, my dear friends. You are aware of the road accident in which Nikita, again a young girl, suffered head injury and she is still unconscious. We Pray for her speedy recovery, my dear friends. We have been praying for that small child who underwent open heart surgery, three months old. And today the mother tells us that she shifted to the ward 
but then her heart rate is going down we pray for that kid as well my dear friends and there is someone from mumbai asking our prayers for a parishioner of hers where a 15 year old boy is having severe health issues he is writing his exams slc exams but soon after the exams he has to undergo a major surgery they are requesting our prayers along with these particular intentions my dear friends we pray for all the intentions sent by our listeners and also your own personal intentions especially the weddings other programs that are going to take place in our families may be blessed lord you are the resurrection and the life increase my faith in the power of your resurrection that i may never doubt your word nor stray from your presence amen pray for god's blessing my dear friends may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen and don't forget to share this audio with your friends and contacts when you share don't just share the audio clip there is also a message attached to it where the theme of the reflection is mentioned then the readings are given so when you send the audio clip send that message as well and we are sending the audio reflection in konkani and kannada along with english they are different reflections my dear friends they are not the same that means if you listen to them you will get three reflections it will be very enriching and if you have got a time make it a point to listen to all the three and if you understand the language and we are thankful to you for all your prayers encouragement and good wishes keep praying for us this is father steven pereira carmelite priest and my whatsapp number is 9481263229 we already told you that there is a vocation camp beginning on 8th that is sunday at 6 o'clock going up to 10th of april that is tuesday till 2 pm this camp is for those who are studying in 8th 9th 10th and my dear friends if your children want to become priests please send them to this uh, camp and you can contact brother ryan who is in charge of this camp and his number is 998642410 <laughs> definitely we need a priest my dear friends and these priests should come from our own families so encourage your children to join this camp let them come let them have a come and see experience and then let them decide may the spirit help them guide them thank you that's all for today let's meet tomorrow bye bye